What is going on YouTube? This is Ryan React with another video. Uh, so it was this guy who actually wanted me to react to this song by Threat Signal called Counterbalance because he's seen my other reaction. Well, that was actually a review for Through My Eyes. I've heard songs off this album before. I just don't really recall which songs. Uh, yeah, it's been many years. Like, back in 09 is when this album came out. And it's when I heard it through my eyes and really just loved that song. You know, and actually checked songs from, like, you know, other um, albums that they put out and stuff like that. But it's really been a while. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm going to start incorporating my green screen a lot more. I don't know. I figure, you know, I spent all this money on it. Why not actually use it? Just looking outside. Uh, sorry about that. I always just like to see, you know, it's always good to be aware of your surroundings. And if you see a new car pull up, it's like, well, this can never be too safe in this world today's day and age. But that's for another topic, another discussion, another video, another day. So, yeah, let's just get right into the song, Counterbalance by Threat Signal. And hopefully my green screen quality is good, lighting, etc. I'll let you know if I heard the song, by the way. I'm not going to fake the reaction. Mm, those drums already, they don't sound familiar. So it's really cool. I like the uh, faded back track of the guitars. That quickly just went to the forefront. <laughs> So that sounds a little familiar, but I really, I can't call it, you know? Kind of reminds me of Bullet for my Valentine a little bit with those cleans right there. Like, let me back that up a bit. It sounds just like Bullet. Like right here. And yes, I have heard this song, but I don't remember it, if that makes sense. Like, you know, in my peripheral mind, I recall it. But I can't specifically, like, I couldn't tell you in the next five seconds what's going to happen, you know? It's like I'm remembering it as I'm hearing it, but I can't like through my eyes and stuff like that. Maybe a couple other songs I could probably just, you know, recite basically like but this. I don't know, but I just it sounds familiar. Maybe I heard it in passing like once just as I was checking out the album. So whether you want to call it a reaction or review so far, I'm liking it. Uh, I don't like it as much as through my eyes. I think that's going to be my favorite song of all time from these guys. But let's just let it play out. So the song is 5 minutes 38 seconds. Um the frick, frick fly. So with it being 5 minutes 38 seconds and having that cool maybe 15 to 20 second mini solo, I already know they're going to come out with something crazy. 
I could just tell. This is like one of those songs that is supposed to just give you a lot of, you know, surprises. I could just tell because there's already been multiple vocal changes, uh, incorporating the, the cool tones with the instruments, with the riffs. So that's my prediction. I've heard so many metal bands, so yeah, I have a feeling something about, you know, something crazy is about to happen. But let's go. Pause that. Oh, I didn't want to. So it's one of those like atmospheric solos that's coming. Like that's insane. It, like it killed me. Like when I fall back in my chair like that, it means it freaking killed me. Like that is insane. So I'm gonna just rewind it just a little bit because I know it's not over. I can just I can hear the the progression, the transitions. Um, man, let's go. Just a little bit. Microphone. I was like, mm. <laughs> sorry. Interesting, interesting. That little last, ding, little last pluck was kind of interesting. So, 
you know, the title's Counterbalance. And it's kind of cool how, like, the song kind of contrasts it off of different parts. So, like, counterbalance the song. Because you had some intricate, very mini solo. And then you had some long, atmospheric one. Then you had just basic, you know, distortion. And then you just had that cool, like, acoustic medley towards... No. I didn't say Siri, I said intricate. I don't even have an iPhone, I have a iPod. That's weird. Well, I mean, I do have a phone, it's an Android, but it's not what I'm saying. It's kind of cool with the green screen. You can see the camera. Anyway. Yeah. So that cool acoustic medley happened and then just that little dun, like that pluck just didn't go with the song and they're just like, alright, I'll just play something. I don't know, that's just structurally no lyrically, um I really didn't pay attention too much to it. I heard some stuff, but Yeah, it's a song I definitely would listen to again. I should have just check out the whole dang album. <laughs> It's, it seems like one of those songs that I just turned off before I even let it get to even that first mini solo, just because, like, I'm like, get me through my eyes, you know? Or something like that. So I really didn't give it too much of a chance. So that's a good thing, though, because I consider this a reaction, you know? Because I, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. Freaking fly, I'm gonna get. But no, um... Pretty much it. And the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Have a fantastic day. Um, put some more song suggestions in the description box if you want. You don't have to. And yeah. That's it. That's it for me. Oops, wrong one. That's what I meant to do from the start. Yeah, just a threat signal. Figure why not have like a song there and then just a... Uh, Wallpaper to pay homage to the actual musicians that produce the awesome songs. So that may be my new format for a bit. May Jesus Christ bless you. I said that already, but you can never say it enough in this this world, you know. Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen, by the way. He passed away today, so yeah, you never know when your time's gonna run out. Peace.